you want to race in the CVT Reaper? Sure. This week on CVTV, we have an on-the-spot from reporter Teddy giving us an inside look on CVVA. We also have announcements regarding Club Green, an upcoming Minithon event, and commencement information, along with our weekly weather presented by McKaylee. And now from the CVTV studios in room 164 of the Cumberland Valley High School, this is CVTV. Good morning, CV. This is your uh, weekly CVTV news update. I'm David. And I'm Teddy. Please rise for the National Anthem and remain standing for the Pledge to the Flag. Please rise and remain standing for the Pledge to the Flag. Welcome back, CV. This week is an even Monday week. Make sure to keep looking at school to keep up with the most urgent and important updates. Just as a reminder, CV, make sure to wear your mask and student ID at all times while on campus. If you do not have a lanyard or need a replacement, they are available in your grade level office. Are you experiencing any problems or have questions about your school issued device? Help and troubleshooting guides can be found inside of the course headquarters folder in Schoology. Here is CVTV report Teddy Helgren giving us an inside look at CVVA. You're watching an On The Spot from CVTV Channel 61. This is Teddy, reporting On The Spot with CVVA. CVVA is an online cyber school run by the Cumberland Valley School District as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic for students who choose to join. In addition to providing virtual education, it will likely continue to stay in years to come as a competitor to local private cyber schools. I think it is a good alternative to a cyber school not run by the district um, based on what the school actually offers for uh, the kids taking it. Students were given the opportunity at the start of the year and at each interval marking period to either join or leave CVVA and become a hybrid student. I joined CVVA last fall mainly because uh, it was the best choice for my parents and my siblings and basically uh, the overall situation in my family and I think I will be in CVVA the whole year. I think, I'd say I'd get, I'm getting the same um, education and workload as hybrid students. The majority of people learn better when they're face-to-face -face with their teachers. CVVA students take the same classes with the same teachers as they would normally get, with the exception that they're always on Zoom. CVVA students Zoom from the early to mid-afternoons at the same time as the hybrid students do during their off days. 
The best experience probably has to be waking up um, later than um, others who go to hybrid. I get up at about five minutes before each Zoom call, which sometimes is at 12.30, other times it's at uh, one o'clock. And then I do school until about 3.20 each day. And then I do my schoolwork and homework until I go to my actual job. And then the worst experience is not having face-to-face um, -face instruction with teachers, because if you're like me, it drives me crazy. While reduced face-to-face -face instruction is a major challenge, the flexible schedules provide to students give them opportunities to go out into the community, volunteer, or even work a job. If CV continued to offer this course, I think there would be people who would continue to take CVVA beyond next year. Um, school has created a great alternative for kids over the summer, which is a couple months, and I think that it's the best it can be. This is Teddy, signing off. Attention seniors! If you applied to a college this year, don't forget to go into Naviance when you know the outcome of your application and finalize the results section. Please change your results status from unknown to the outcome from the college. This information is very helpful to Cumberland Valley. If you need help with changing the status, please see your counselor or Mr. Landis. Additionally, please look for future posts in Schoology this spring concerning your final transcript. Club Green will be having a yard sale clothing drive in April and needs your help. Help the environment by donating your unwanted clothes to Club Green. Donations will be accepted until March 26th. You can drop them off at the high school at the, in the main office, senior entrance, or Mrs. Davis's room, room 250. If you are a CVVA and or unable to drop off the item at the high school, please message 21randerson at cvstudents.org or at cvclubgreen on Instagram. CV Minithon will hold a virtual art auction from April, April 21st to 25th featuring artwork from CV students. We're asking for students to donate photography, painting, drawing, or pottery pieces that they've created. You do not have to be enrolled in an art class at CV to donate your work. All, students, uh, uh, all submissions are due April 1st and will be JPEGs besides pottery, which can be dropped off in Mr. Stanley's room 148. If you would like to donate a piece of your artwork, please complete the Google form found in Schoology. If you have any questions, please contact CV Minithon at cvschools.org. Attention seniors, are you planning to enter the military upon graduation? General enlistment, reserves, National Guard, ROTC, or an academy? Did you earn your gold award as a Girl Scout or Eagle Scout as a Boy Scout? Cumberland Valley would like to recognize you as a graduation and in the commencement program. Please email Mr. Landis, elandis at cvschools.org, with your branch of service and the date you plan to enter the service. In order to enter the information to appear on the commencement program, Mr. Landis must receive the email by May 7th, 2021. Should you have any questions, please contact Mr. Landis. Here's an upcoming look at your CVTV weekly weather with meteorologist McKaylee. CVTV weather. Good morning, CV. I'm McKaylee, and welcome to your weekly weather report. For today, March 15th, it'll be a mainly cloudy day. On this day, there will be a high temperature of 42 degrees with low winds. Moving into the week, Tuesday will be partly cloudy. There will be a high temperature of 48 degrees and a low being around 33 degrees. As we move into the middle of the week, Wednesday will bring us a mixture of sun and clouds with a high temperature in the low 50s and a low of 37 degrees. Thursday will bring us a cloudy day with showers. For this day, there will be a high temperature of 54 degrees and a low of 38 degrees. Moving into Friday, there will be an overcast day with rain showers at times. Friday will have an expected high of 48 degrees. With spring just around the corner, this week entails warmer temperatures but chances of rain, so make sure to stay dry. Thank you for listening to your weekly weather forecast. Have a great week, CD. Thank you for tuning in with your CVTV Weekly News. Have a great week, CV.